So I thought I'd show you visually what I'm experiencing orally with the uh, Bagheera reverb. Um, what we have here is the effect send output of the V22 feeding um, my sound card and that's going into uh, a spectrum analyzer. The spectrum analyzer is set for about a hertz and a half resolution and we're really only looking at DC to about 1.75k uh, or so. I've I'm driving the amp with a about a 500 hertz sine wave and right now we've got everything dialed down except the master is pegged um, all the tone controls are at um, are at uh, 12 o'clock verb is off and I'm gonna bring up the clean channel again clean channel no reverb very very gradually and what you're gonna see is no surprise around 500 hertz you're gonna see the level come up and you're gonna see some harmonics at a uh, 1k and 15k as well You'll see some Spurrier um, on, like, basically all over the place. Uh, don't know if those are intermodulation products against the hum in the amp or some other instrumentation foo, but uh, those aren't going to be terribly relevant to what I'm going to demonstrate next. So here's the uh, 500 hertz sine wave coming up on the clean channel. No reverb. So we can see things basically track linearly. Uh, even the harmonic products are more or less, uh, well, they correlate to the fundamental level, the levels at 1K and 1.5K. Uh, the Spurrier as well, they just kind of map as well. Um, so that is no surprise, that's the expected behavior. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dial the uh, clean level volume back down that little bit of 500k that you see there is just leakage across whatever residual resistance there is in the in the wiper to ground. Um, next thing I'm going to do is just bring up the reverb uh, to its maximum level and what we're going to see is the residual noise in the um, the effect processing card. So noise floors come up a bit again no surprise there. Um, now in a properly dithered digital signal chain what should happen is that that noise floor shouldn't modulate with the signal level whatever noise floor you have should remain essentially constant uh, with the input signal but what we're going to see as I bring up the volume control the clean channel is that there's a point where that noise floor comes up and then um, once it comes up some it just stays there and that's exactly what I'm hearing. Uh, pay particular attention to the region between 500 hertz and uh, 1 kilohertz. Here we go. So noise floor is constant so far. Noise floor is still constant. Now the sound, I'm hearing the sound getting a little grainy. And we can see the noise floor is coming up. And now it's very grainy. But as I increase the level from here, you'll see that that, just look at that region between 500 hertz and 1 kilohertz. The energy in there really doesn't uh, change that much with level.
So that is a noise modulation in a digital signal processing chain. And um, something you generally don't want. Uh, don't know why it exists in this particular chain. I think the codec is probably not doing it. I suspect that uh, the reverb algorithm programming is doing it. It might just be too expensive to program in the, uh, the uh, dithering algorithms on every edition that you basically need to do to assure that um, you don't have any truncation and everything is smoothly dithered and so on. One other possibility is that they are using a dithering algorithm that um, actually does modulate um, with level. Here's the same test, but this time using the effect chips uh, spring reverb program rather than the stock small hall reverb program. For reference, the reverb is off, and I'm going to bring the clean level up a bit. And now, the reverb on 10. Bringing up the level of the 500 hertz tone. I can hear it getting grainy. Even though I'm not seeing a lot of difference in the noise energy uh, between the uh, two algorithms, uh, I think that the spring reverb algorithm subjectively is a little less annoying than the uh, small hall reverb algorithm um, at these like very low levels. So given that I like the uh, overall sound of the spring reverb algorithm better anyway, it's a keeper for now and until I find um, some better solution.